Hello everyone, welcome to the IT videos. In the next few minutes, we are going to see how we can easily create WordPress site in our Azure environment. So first of all, I can click on, I am assuming that you would have the appropriate permissions and you would have a subscription in Azure to be able to create resources. So you can click on the create a resource or you can choose to create a resource from the menu in the top left. So I'm going to just click on the create a resource button and what are we trying to create? We're just trying to create a WordPress site. So I'm just going to type WordPress and hit enter. And we are going to get few flavors of WordPress. So we have got WordPress on Linux, WordPress multi-tier, and a few other options. All we want to do right now is just click on the WordPress option. That's the first one. And that's the WordPress. So I'm just going to click on the create button now and we are presented with a screen where we need to specify the app name. I'm going to say WordPress. I'm going to say WordPress dash the IT videos subscription. I'm going to leave the subscription as the default resource group. I'm going to let's say create a new resource group. I'm going to say resource group IT videos hit OK that's the resource group that it will create the resource in i'm going to leave the app service plan as is i'm going to let's just leave that as uh, or i can choose to configure that if i wish to i can click on create a resource and let's say wordpress service plan and pricing tier is s1 standard i can choose to change the pricing tier to make it let's say Right now it is using a pricing tier which is uh, S1, S1 tier which will cost about $60 Australian. So for this demo purposes, I'm just going to click on the dev slash test and I'm just going to choose the free tier right now. This is only for the demo purposes. So you can choose various options and the higher you go, the better it gets and also the pricing gets higher as well according to the resources allocated so with the free pricing tier set i'm going to hit apply and click on the ok button and that wp dash service plan which is created has been selected now database settings required i'm going to click on that i'm going to leave the server name as is and I'm just going to enter the uh, password confirm password and pricing tier if I click on that I'm just going to say basic and right now it is going to be about $99 so instead of using two core I can bring it down to let's say one core and it has reduced the price by half and so this is only for demo purposes essentially you can also increase the storage type and backup retention period so I think by default it is seven days the backup retention period so with everything set as default except for the v code that we uh, reduce it to one i'm going to hit ok and that's the pricing tier so with that set i'm just going to hit ok and it's going to first go ahead and give us a summary of what we are creating so with that all set let me click on the create button it's now validating our choices or our selection that we have made looks like the validation was successful and now it is now the deployment is in progress and shortly it will create the resource in our resource group and will be notified once it is ready to go now I'll hit the pause button and I'll come back once it is once the deployment is complete all right looks like our deployment is successful so, so I can click on go to resources uh, I can choose pin to dashboard pin and also I can choose to go to resource so I'm inside I'm in the app service which is which is inside of this resource group and I can click on browse or just and there's a URL that got generated I can click on browse and it will take me to the resource that we just created all right we get this nice little screen I can click on continue with the default language selected. I specify the site name was
username, admin, password, I specify the password, email address, I'm just going to specify the email address, password and email address and here I'm going to just take discourage search engines from indexing this site because this is just a test site we don't want it to be indexing we don't want this to be available in the search engine because this is just a test site so I'm going to click on install WordPress I'm going to go ahead and install our WordPress to this site I'm going to say never I don't want to remember my password for now so all right so looks like or WordPress was successfully installed. I can click on the log. I can click on the login, and I can just say admin. And password is, and hit the login button. All right, you're logged in, and we can visit the site as well. If I go over to this one, click on visit site, and this is our Azure portal which is looking very bland there's nothing much in here how about we change the appearance of it click on the appearance themes and let's say we use the second one right I just click on uh, update and it is going to update the site the theme looks like it's all good so I can click on the live preview to see how it's going to eventually look like all right that's how it's going to look like it's looking not bad actually so I'm just going to click on activate and publish and it's just activating this theme in our site it looks like it's all good now if I come back to that tab that we had previously opened and just click on the refresh and we should get that new site all good to go so if I go back to my Azure portal I can look at the performance of it I can also go back to the resource group and choose the application inside and look at the various metrics and it takes about a uh, few minutes for the uh, data to be reflected in the application inside but you would have access to all the information that you need so that's how easy it is to set up a WordPress site with a few clicks of a button and you are pretty much good to go thanks for watching I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video. And just before you go, if this video has helped you in any way, shape, or form, give me a thumbs up and hit.